Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and at long last, we are back at our Victory in the West campaign on Unity of Command 2. Uh, if you watched last episode, you know that I hit a brick wall with the Battle of the Bocage. No matter what I did, no matter what I tried, I could not get through the Bocage. So I got a little frustrated and did a little bit of cheating. I went back and restarted the campaign from the beginning, uh, played it up through, and now we are back to the Battle of the Bocage. Uh, in some respects I did better, and in some respects I think I'm probably in the same boat. Uh, Operation Overlord went fairly well. I did take uh, St. Lo, uh, the Carpacat Bridge, but I still didn't take Can, so we're going to have to focus on can and the other objectives of this nine turn scenario i'm gonna skip reading this because i've read it about a hundred times so let's get into the battle of the bocage and see how we do all right the battle of the bocage um, <clears throat> so apparently we don't have the airfield, we just have St. Low, so we have to get, uh, Countenance by turn 6, Can by turn 7, or Con, sorry. Uh, secondary objectives are Breakout, which is way down here, Villers Bocage, which is right here, and Lassay which is right over here. Uh, first things first, the prep phase, go through and uh, reinforce all my units as best I can. Uh, give them specialists. I'm gonna wanna do a lot of artillery with these guys. Uh, we'll go with engineers for him. He's already got three. Let's see. Now, something I didn't realize, I may be wrong on this, but um, I can switch between the, uh, the specialist. I didn't know I could do that, so that's something I'm going to have to keep in mind as the battle progresses. I do have a fair amount of prestige to spend. I'm not going to spend it all uh, right now. I don't really think that's necessary. Um, however, I am going to want to get my forces up as much as I can. Especially those that don't have any type of uh, specialist and only one step, so. Let's see. Yeah, I think that does it for the Americans. Oh, these guys I'm going to want as much anti-tank as I can. Now, if you watched the last episode, you saw that my, one of my main problems I was having was I would... For some reason, can't select this uh, tank here. But anyway, one of my main problems I was having was I would take Carpacat, and then I would lose Carpacat, take it, lose it, take it, lose it. And that was basically my entire focus was retaking Carpacat Airfield, so we are going to have to 
take it and hold it. And hope that they do not just keep bouncing me out. Have everyone have their uh, anti-tank selected. Like I said, I'm not really sure that makes much of a difference, but I like to think it does. Another step to him. Engineers. All right, I think that's going to do it for the. Uh, Prep phase, let's begin turn number one. Alright, now going forward, what I think I'm going to try and do is... I'm going to try and push down through here and cut these guys off. And possibly do the same thing over in this area over here. Uh, losing St. Lowe is not going to be an option so uh, let's check out our supply situation it's another thing that uh, kind of gave me a lot of problems was supply so um, put one depot here and bump this up we can do over here I'm going to leave that one extra uh, supply depot open for now. Okay. Looking for weak spots in their line. Is he entrenched? He is. So we'll do a set piece attack on him. Didn't really have the effect I was hoping it would. We got an O to 2 on him now.
Okay, he's been overrun. Wasn't exactly a spectacular attack there. Okay. Move him out. Move this armored unit in. Okay, pushed him back. see what can we do start bringing people forward okay we took the airfield are we going to hold it? That's the thing. Is he entrenched? He's fortified, so set piece attack. That just didn't do anything at all. Suppressive fire. That didn't do anything either. See if there's anything I can do here. I don't think there is.
Says he's out of supply. One theater air asset, air recon available. All right, I'm going to end turn one and see what the Germans do. Well, they're hitting hard at St. Lowe. And there we go. Here, here goes the airfield. Kiss that goodbye, too. They destroy the bridge right there. Okay, let's try not to overreact here. We do have quite a few turns to uh, retake all this. Okay, so now we have to retake St. Lo. That's awesome. Let's check out our supply situation here. in this direction. Okay, we'll use the uh, specialist that kind of sucks
Yeah, that was a pretty good result there. Anything I could do here. Actually, redo this. Put him back. Oh, that won't work. Okay. Bad result there. And no result there. Wiped them out. That's about all we can do in this turn. Let's see what we can do about increasing our supply. If we in here. There. Eventually, we're going to pull the supplies out of here and probably uh, move them a little further south. Okay, Let's see what happens.
still haven't managed to break through and uh, cut their supply lines. We've got 12 units with supply disrupted. So many supply disrupted. It's not funny. I don't know how he's disrupted. He's right on. That uh, doesn't make any sense to me. We'll move you back. Put you right on a supply depot so you're not disrupted. How's that? through the middle here. Oh good, we got a free specialty. Or we could go with sabotage. I'm gonna go with sabotage. And I'm gonna use it right now. Where'd it go? Maybe I'll get it the next turn. Fortunately, I used up all my command points on, uh... Supplying my out-of-supply unit, so... thing. <laughs> Whoops. Surprised he didn't get pushed out. Oh well. Now oh, we got another saturation strike. Very nice.
Oh, I think eventually I'm going to have to move my armor over to uh, sweep through over here. So those guys are cut off right now. Let's use that saturation strike. use it. It's two things that I kind of, I think I lost out on. I could really use that right now. Strange. Well, let's see what happens. Nope, so much for that objective. are still holding on. at one to one if he has no oh, whatever because he's out of supply I don't buy it
don't think there's anywhere I can do this where I don't risk hitting some of my own men. I'd rather not do. It's still four to nothing. And that did nothing, really. Nothing. have to dump some of the supplies here. Bring it over this way. Hold on to that for now. Expected. You guys just running around getting slaughtered. <coughs> supply for two turns I don't believe that for a second someone down there. Bring you over here so you're back in supply. See what we can do about Supply Depot. Oh, 
Okay. Come on now. Did nothing. Stop. Nothing. <laughs> Whoops. You stop digging your claws into me. Cat is attacking me. Uh, I think that's about what we can do for right now. Okay, so our supply situation is slowly getting better. We've got four turns to get canned, so... And hold everything else. <sighs> Alright, let's end the turn, see what happens. We've got to push on can now. Con, I know I'm saying it wrong, sorry. And we've got to retake that one. Whoops. Always do that. Accidentally leave a objective wide open. Yep, yep, yep. I hear you.
Uh, silly. Okay, we retook that. Do right on the supply depot, start moving you guys over here. I want to pull too many people off this objective here. Just because, uh, it'd be my luck to, um, to lose it, which is a possibility. Move this uh, headquarters unit down. See what the Canadians can offer here. He is out of supply. That's not good. leave you right where you are. Start moving these guys up. I wonder if they could, uh, not on this turn anyway. Alright, let's see what happens. I wonder what happened to that, um, Sabotage card I got. <laughs> uh, 
That didn't do anything. Saying how you're out of supply. There we go. Actually pushed him back. is across a river so I can't really do anything to him. Okay, two turns to take can. Bridges left and right over here. guys are out of supply. Fuck. They're all out of supply. <laughs>
just lost his step. Whoops. <laughs> uh, sorry, guy. Socks. All right, let's end this turn, see what happens. So close. This is the last turn. Ah, damn it. to be absolutely fucking shitting me. Alright, well, this is it. One more turn. That's all I've got. All of these motherfuckers are out of supply. Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. Come on! Might as well attack him. It's not like I can actually fucking do anything. Oh, to one. No, that would have been nice to know about. This game's gonna piss me off.
Oh, that's it. Uh, really? I can do one more turn? <laughs> okay, thanks. Why can't you, okay. Why can't you do anything? Okay. So something actually worked out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just make sure they don't sneak around behind me and do something really nasty to me. That would piss me off. Holy shit. I think I might have done it. Alright, let's end the turn and see what happens. It cost me 300... Uh, 300 points in score, but... I think I did it. Well, there we go. <laughs> score a 212... We got through. Uh, it was a nasty fight. But we got through. And we've got 35 prestige to spend on next to nothing. So the next scenario is the Normandy breakout. 11 turns. That should be fun with 35 prestige to uh, spread out through my entire army. Anyway, this is going to be a really long episode here. Hour and seven minutes. So I'm going to call it to a close right here. If you liked watching my bloodbath, my successful bloodbath, hit that like button. It'll help my channel out a little bit. I'm going to keep going with the uh, Victory in the West campaign, so follow along. If you'd like, hit the subscribe. Leave your thoughts, tips, and advice, particularly tips and advice, in the comments below. And as always, J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, finally through the bocage. Have a good night.